Almost there. Do try and keep us in one piece till then. Why, love? Whatever do you mean? That wasn't so bad. Go on ahead. I'll meet you inside when you're ready to head out to Lahav. I wanted to dance ballet, but this is as far as I thought. How about a drive? I hear the country is lovely this time of year. Indeed. No doubt my friends are anxious to see their prize. Let's not disappoint them. Nazi checkpoints and patrols. That won't be easy. Not to worry. I know a back road out of the city. I've marked the route on your map. So, Skyler Sinclair, secret agent. How'd you get into this business? A girl's entitled to her secrets. I suppose you were on the job that first night we met. On the pool, maybe. But not on the clock. What's it like? Lying for a living? A bit like high school, I suppose. So what are you gonna do after the war? You plan on doing this the rest of your life? Uh, it all depends on who wins, and whether I'm alive to see it. I'd rather not talk about it. And here we are, just two lovers popping out for a picnic in the countryside. It sounds romantic, but I don't think the crowds will buy it. <laughs> They'll buy whatever I'm selling, darling. Just leave the talking to me. Nothing like a good country drive to see the man's pains. Oh, I can think of a better remedy. And I'd say you've more than earned it this time. Hmm. That sounds intriguing. Later. First, we deal with... The entire city is my home. It's authentic. There can be no mistake. 
Those madmen actually found it. Marvelous! You are a man of extraordinary resources, Mr. Devlin. I could use a man like you. We had a deal. I brought your box halfway across France, and I had to kill a lot of men to do it. Now I want Dierker. And you shall have him. I am reliably informed that Colonel Dierker is less than a mile from here at this very moment. Dierker's here? In the half? At the Citadel, preparing to board a Zeppelin bound for Berlin. If you leave now, you should be able to catch them before they get airborne. Then I'll be going. There is one last thing, Mr. Devlin. You didn't, by any chance, take a peek inside the box, did you? Well, like you said, it's none of my concern. I'm glad to hear it. Goodbye, Mr. Devlin, and... and good hunting. Give confession. Nah, take too fucking long. Sean, wait. An operative named Pino has secured a German supply truck down at the docks. Without it, you'll be hard pressed to make it past the front gate. Since when are you in my corner where Jerker's concerned? I'm not. This vendetta of yours is insane. But I've just finished breaking you in, and I'm not ready to lose you just yet. Oh, I'm getting all misty-eyed. <laughs> Don't be an ass. I left you a present inside the truck. I think you'll like it. Tivlin, they're expecting the truck at the Citadel. Play it right and they'll let you straight in. I thought you might like a change of clothes. Not very stylish, I'm afraid, but then fashion never was your strong suit. Ciao, Skylar. charge in the right place could turn that gate into kindling. Special! 
Special delivery! Praise the Lord. Fucking stairs. Kommt gültiger, das war knapp. Die Lern, wir sind auf dem Erd. 
best gift. Reckon I ought to check in with Skylar. You're alive. Nothing's getting past you, mate. Where's Skylar? I cannot tell you that. Can't or won't? Miss Sinclair's prison whereabouts are classified. So, did you kill the bastard? No. Not yet. It takes a hard heart and a steady hand to face a man like Derker. I should have sent a real soldier. Too bad you were too busy wanking off in church. Tell Bishop this isn't over. Derker will be taking a dirt nap this time next week. I think it's time I got back to Paris. Veronique is probably worried sick about me. Jean! Where have you been? 
At the beach. Is that seaweed on your collar? I got a bit homesick. Started swimming back to Ireland. Till I remembered something I had to tell you. What was that? You're a bold lass, Fernique. Bollocks like brass boulders you have. And you're old enough to know your mind. I won't say otherwise. Is that your idea of an apology? It'll do. Well, well, pleasure indeed, my petites. I have been saving this bottle for very special occasion. Sean, I did not know you were back. Aye. Just in time for happy hour. Or did you have another rare pleasure in mind? I am afraid we are short on glasses. I'll go dig one up. Enjoying the spoils of war, are we? Struggle must be going well. The resistance grows stronger every day. Last night we were contacted by another cell on the west side of the city. They want to join us. You trust these people? Not yet. But we cannot pass up the chance to forge an alliance. Actually, I was hoping you would look into it for me. I can see you're busy here. To reach the western district, one must pass through security checkpoints. My face is well known to the Nazis. Veronique offered to go in my place. <laughs> I'm sure she did. But I'll go just the same. I'll need transit papers. Santos can get forged travel documents. I'm sure you can work something out. Tell Veronique I'll take a rain check on that drink. Dios mío! It's Lazarus! Back from the dead. My friends in Laura told me about your little balloon adventure. You must be part bird or part fish to be standing here talking to me now. What about me, Irish Lock? No one's that lucky. My friends tell me you can get forged travel papers. Ah, I see. The hero of Ilet still has you running his errands, eh? Why not pick up his laundry while you're at it? Oh, that's fucking funny. You're gonna be picking up your own teeth in about ten seconds. Tranquilo. Luke mentioned that you might be stopping by. Your papers have been prepared. Quality workmanship. Not cheap. Put it on Luke's tab. <laughs> you Irish have a brilliant sense of humor. I'm running a business here. You want to talk to me? Talk business. Oh, for fuck's sake, Santos. Just tell me what you want. Ah, that is more like it. You see, I cannot tolerate competition. Why would the crowd soldiers buy cigarettes and booze from me when they could get them cheaper from the army? Maybe you should try dressing up in a clown suit, hand out free balloons with every pack of smokes. Maybe I should hire a badass Irishman to blow up the German supply trucks. That'll work too. A German supply convoy stopped to make repairs not far from here. The trucks are, as you say, sitting ducks. I'll handle it. And you'll have those papers ready when the job's done. Claro que sí. I'll see you soon.
There's a lot of spare fuel lying about. With a disguise and some explosives, I could light the whole place up. There's more than one way to skin a cat. There's people fighting for you out there. Sterben! Kolbrun! you been? I've been looking all over the city for you. If you are back in Paris, come find me at the garage behind the Belle de Nuit. Vittore. When I heard you were back, I prayed that this vendetta of yours was finished. Your eyes tell me it is not. Dirk is still breathing. So what? 
Would you trade your own life for his? Aye. Gladly. Then you are a fool. <laughs>